will not be identified. Uh, as you probably have heard, uh, the weapons used in this attack, uh, there are two weapons. One was a shotgun and the other is a 38 revolver. Uh, neither of these weapons uh, were owned or, or legally possessed uh, by the shooter. It's my information that both of these weapons uh, were obtained by the shooter from his father. It's my information at this time that the father legally owned these weapons. I have no information at this time whether or not the father was aware that, that his son had taken these weapons from the father. Um, I, I do want to thank all of the multitude of law enforcement agencies that have been involved in this process. They include the Santa Fe Police Department, uh, Galveston Sheriff's Office, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, League City Police Department, as I mentioned earlier, both the FBI as well as the ATF, uh, the Galveston Police Department, uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office, Texas City Police Department, Pearland Police Department, and Houston Metro Police Department. And um, two things we're working on as we speak. Uh, one is, is to make sure that uh, parents are going to be notified as swiftly as possible. Uh, one thing that depends upon is uh, how swiftly uh, the crime scene is going to be able to be uh, uh, dealt with, uh, with the concern being that for the potential uh, of explosive devices on the crime scene. I think that's something that can be worked out uh, here in a very short period of time. Second, very importantly, uh, is uh, the necessity of providing counseling uh, to everybody involved. Certainly counseling for uh, the families, uh, for, for any living victim, uh, but for all of the students uh, at the school and uh, I would say any student uh, in the entire independent school district. The, the, I know that resources are being provided uh, by the county for that. They are also being provided uh, by the state and we will have uh, whatever amount of counselors uh, the, the school district needs. I've had the opportunity to visit with the superintendent of the school district who's been quite helpful uh, both in the investigation but also in the response and I thank her uh, for her leadership in this effort. Also as you've heard I have received uh, phone calls from the president, the vice president, the secretary of homeland security as well as the secretary of education. All have pledged uh, whatever support Texas needs in order to be able to adequately respond to this. Now one of the people helping us respond to it uh, is uh, one of the senators uh, from the state of Texas uh, to the federal government, and that is Ted Cruz, 